WGN Investigates has learned taxpayers are on the hook for tens of thousands of dollars more in travel costs for Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard and her administration. It comes after WGN sued the village for refusing to turn over financial records as required by law. 12, 2021, a resolution was passed. The following persons are hereby authorized to be added as signatories for all city accounts. Mayor Tiffany Henyard, Village Clerk Allison Key. But when we asked Tenyard a few months ago about her use of tax dollars, she was quickly hustled out of the room by armed security and on Facebook. Well, if the proverbial 40-day thing is real, then it has certainly caught up with one Tiffany, not Haddish, but Mayor Tiffany Henyard. A day after a report on a probe of the village's finances found South Suburban Dalton is more than $3.5 million in the red. Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who is accused of misusing taxpayer money, was nowhere to be found. Residents of Dalton deserve nothing less than a government that is fully accountable, responsive, transparent, and effective stewards of your precious tax dollars. Lightfoot. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who was hired by the Village Board to investigate Henyard's handling of village finances, released preliminary findings that the village is not only in significant debt, but that credit card spending is out of control and Tiffany is solely responsible for bleeding out the village. Allegedly, she used part of the loot to renovate her luxury home. We want some openness about what's being done and that's not what we got. South Suburban mayors are urging their constituents to vote against a proposed property tax. It's been over three years since Henyard was sworn in as the youngest and first woman mayor of Dalton. She also serves as Thornton Township Supervisor. Her image is prominently displayed outside the Village Hall, but now it turns out she has disappointed thousands of people who believed in her. The villages do you think are opposed to this? The majority of them? All of them. All of them? All the ones that signed. The mayors of Markham. The once celebrated young leader is now the center of allegations of corruption and political retaliation, which are being lobbed at her by trustees, business owners, and even the attorney general's office. She has taken lavish trips with the village staff and has caused the village to be in a multi-million dollar deficit, said trustee Jason House. They say Henyard has used the village coffers as a personal piggy bank while Dalton's unpaid bills have piled up. Today, I'm here to proudly announce my candidacy for mayor of Dalton in February of 2025. There's a lot of mismanagement of funds and we just want some clarity so we can move forward and understand what's going on with all the spending, said Kiana Belcher, another Dalton trustee. When she walked past, she kicks at it and then it mysteriously moved. That is about the outrageous, pettiest thing that um, anyone could display. It is a deadly sin that you could have lost six of your police cars, and when you lose police cars, you lose police officers too, but she chose to keep her payments on her security detail, said Bert Odelson, legislative counsel for the Dalton Board of Trustees. Not a narrative because um, it is not the truth. It's only one sided, and it's a shame that the media comes out and they only show negative things. Sec Residents who packed into the park district room for the meeting were furious and rallied loudly against their mayor. Reportedly, running a business in Dalton has also been getting harder. Multiple businesses have been shut down recently over unresolved licensing issues. The municipality has so many credit cards out there. Orders of going out to eat is mind boggling. The, the trips, um, the shopping. And if you thought that was it, how about this? It is now alleged that Mayor Henyard signed a check for $561,000 to repave her mom's home driveway with taxpayer money. She's also allegedly removed all other city members from being able to sign for spending except for herself. Since taking office as mayor of Dalton in 2021, Tiffany Henyard has had nothing short of a hectic term thanks to a slew of legal allegations coming against her. To terminate Keith Freeman. Henyard announced his termination last night, though the board insists Freeman is still the village admin. The self-proclaimed super mayor touts herself on her work to mend the community's housing crisis, secure American Rescue Plan Act funds for seniors and military veterans, as well as spearheading the construction of new developments to add more recreational gathering spaces for the community. 
However, despite all her good lip service, the feds are investigating a series of allegations that she has a nasty spending problem, but not with her own monies, with taxpayer dollars. That on top of a recent lawsuit from a previous employee claiming wrongful termination for refusing to aid in her alleged political schemes, Henyard's reputation has been smacked left and right by claims of corruption. She's denied most, if not all of the allegations stacked against her, claiming she's got receipts to prove fact over fiction. The first bombshell allegation to strike Henyard's office came in March, 2024, alleging she misused taxpayer money to fund a series of her own personal and pricey expenditures per the New York Post. Last January, we told you Tiffany Henyard and her entourage racked up more than $67,000 in travel-related charges in just five months. At the time, the Dalton board unanimously voted to open a probe into Henyard, calling on her to submit the village's financial records and inviting the FBI to conduct its own investigation. Henyard, however, issued a veto, claiming the resolution was the result of personal attacks against her and stem from one-sided narratives. As you can see, our village, our community, myself, we are under attack, Henyard said at the village board meeting. It's a shame that people can come to meetings and just tell one side of the stories and not get the entire side of both stories. That we, the public, can't ask you anything about the BMWs, the, the Range Rovers, all of that. It's like you're keeping all of that hidden from the taxpayers, and we pay for them. She claimed that the village board was a boys club that didn't want women like her leading, and Henyard vowed to fight back against the alleged smear campaign against her. I'm going to always fight for what's right, and I always stay the course, and I will be victorious when all the dust clears, she added. A story. It is a smear campaign going on right now. Using... During the village board meeting, the embattled mayor also admitted to a $2 million deficit, with Dalton owing more than $427,000 for street paving and another $400,000 for tree trimming services, local WGN 9 reports. Members of the village board, who vowed to override her veto during the next meeting, claimed that the deficit was millions more than Henyard's estimates. The mayor can blame everybody for what's going on, but she has to look at herself, former trustee Edward Steve said during the heated meeting. This is trustee Edward Steve, and I must address the appalling lies that you may have heard in attempts to smear my name and sully my character. One resident also rose up to voice her concern, saying, you lied to us as residents, you do not, you do not stand for me. And I want you to step down as mayor today and save our village from this deficit you have caused. On several occasions, Henyard has been accused of spending taxpayer money on lavish and unnecessary trips and forking over $1 million for a police detail, then using its members to retaliate against her perceived enemies. The former burger joint owner turned local politician also is known to attend meetings dressed as a movie gangster to intimidate her critics. Henyard once channeled drug kingpin Nino Brown from the 1991 gangster movie, New Jack City, at a 2023 gathering. There's a mayor in Dalton, Illinois, by the name of Tiffany Henyard, who has likened herself to that of Nino Brown, a fictional character from a cult classic 90s movie called People look at politics like a joke. It's like a mockery right now because of all this stuff. Village of Dalton trustee Kiana Belcher told The Post. She comes to board meetings dressed like Nino Brown. In March of 2024, Village trustees requested a third party investigator to look into suspicious spending around Henyard's trips per the Washington Examiner. Specifically, they requested a look into a trip she took to Las Vegas with two other Village trustees. A previous investigation into the trip found no wrongdoing, yet other trustees remain skeptical. Former village trustee Valeria Stubbs, who publicly criticized the mayor, claimed she was retaliated against by Henyard. She told the New York Post Henyard repeatedly intimidated and harassed her at her home, including sending hitmen to shoot up the vehicles of two of her tenants. Stubbs alleged Henyard made allies with the police department on purpose 
so they'd ignore the complaint she made against the mayor. Looting and threatening aside, there is more. Henyard's former assistant alleged she was usually harassed by a trustee on Henyard's board. When she told Henyard about it, the mayor responded that if the incident went public, she'd be ruined, per NBC Chicago. In Vegas, when we clock out, isn't anybody hitting the strip of me? You know, it's my birthday. And everybody said no, or they had something else to do. After the mayor's former assistant reported the SHU claims against the trustee, she claimed the mayor promised she'd take care of it, but was involuntarily placed on unpaid medical leave and soon terminated per NBC Chicago. Claims he was offered a $10,000 pay increase weeks prior to facilitating this change. After he refused, he says he was fired less than a month later. We've but that didn't mark the end of the illegal terminations. Former maintenance manager Dwayne Thrash filed a lawsuit alleging in 2023 he was terminated while on vacation after refusing to cooperate in a scheme where Henyard and her assistant planned to fire an attorney and replace them with a firm preferred by the mayor's assistant, per the Washington Examiner. Elsewhere, Henyard was alleged to spearhead a $200,000 payment in a no-bid, no-contract deal with a uh, suburban construction company, which has been linked to multiple corruption cases, featuring one where the owner allegedly tried to run a scheme to clear thousands in unpaid taxes from family-owned properties, per the Illinois Answers Project. The mayor was soon served a subpoena in connection to an investigation into the village's permitting and licensing practices per WWGN 9 News. The FBI documents sought a series of financial records, including payroll, reimbursement, travel, and expenses. Henyard, in particular, was accused of denying permits to those whose businesses she considered unfaithful to her. She's denied those claims. Amen. Some also accused her of using public funds to fuel her personal gains. The besieged politician boasted about her plans to create the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation in 2022. However, upon the other allegations this year of frivolous spending, she began distancing herself from the charity, claiming she doesn't have a foundation and denied knowing anything about the Illinois Attorney General's office, banning the organization from raising any money per the Illinois Answers Project. Still on the same foundation, according to the Illinois Answers Project, the township of Dalton was billed $17,000 for merchandise Henyard used for herself and her foundation. After a federal subpoena requested the documents related to that payment and found the invoice for the merchandise went out just one day after Henyard's foundation was submitted to the state. In an unfortunate turn of events, Dalton's first female mayor and youngest mayor in its history's first term in office has played out like a soap opera. Her village board meetings have been as raucous as reality television. You should pay everybody. Is it the reason why you guys are not paying uh, whatever that vendor is? What was it for? Um, it was for shirts. That's what it's for. You just asked me. You have an invoice? She was elected in 2021 after taking over 36% of the vote in the Democratic primary against her opponents, which included incumbent Riley Rogers and Andrew Holmes. Henyard then defeated independent candidate Ronnie Burge by taking 82% of the vote in Dalton's general election. Young and ambitious, Henyard ran her mayoral campaign in Dalton as a change candidate. Before serving as Dalton's mayor, she was a village trustee where she was an outspoken critic of then Mayor Rogers. When she was elected mayor, hopes were high among Dalton voters who supported her at the polls. With her colorful and flamboyant leadership style, Henyard ushered in a new era of politics in Dalton, which is located just 22 miles south of Chicago. Bold and unapologetic, Henyard's leadership and controversial spending have put Dalton and his future in the national spotlight. In just her first term, the young mayor made more enemies than supporters at City Hall. She calls herself Dalton's super mayor. As a young black woman whose appetite for flash and brash has gained unwanted attention to Dalton, 
Hall. Um, about 100 residents showed up at the meeting tonight, but only 42 residents were allowed inside. Um, they had to walk through metal detectors and they were wanded. Critics have dubbed her as America's worst mayor. Since taking office in May 2021, Henyard has been accused of political corruption that involves taking lavish trips at five-star hotels and dining at high-end steakhouses on taxpayers' dollars. She has been accused of pressuring businessmen to make donations to her campaign fund. Henyard has also been accused of making conflict of interest deals. In January 2024, one Dalton trustee was concerned that the village was headed toward bankruptcy due to the spending and the village's $7 million debt. Village trustees have expressed concern about the village's debt and that it was not meeting its financial obligations. In March, Fenya Dukes, the mayor's former assistant, filed a civil lawsuit against Henyard and Andrew Holmes after they took a taxpayer-funded economic development trip to Las Vegas. There, Dukes alleged Holmes had non-consensual S with her after dinner and a stroll on the Las Vegas Strip. Dukes accuses Holmes of assault and alleges Henyard retaliated against her after she reported the alleged encounter through Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Henyard's security detail. He was demoted after he reported the alleged assault to the mayor. Miles also filed a lawsuit against Henyard. Very stressed and critical to the point of almost breaking. Um, having to provide officers on the detail rather than have officers out. The mayor also faces a lawsuit from former police chief Robert Collins, who alleges she fired him in 2023 because she believed his wife was one of her political adversaries. Dalton residents have called for Henyard's resignation, but she has been defiant, even as she remains the target of an FBI investigation, which includes two subpoenas sent to Dalton City Hall. In 2022, Dalton residents voted to recall Henyard, but an Illinois appellate court ruled the referendum was illegal, allowing Henyard to remain in office. In addition to Dalton, Henyard faces problems as supervisor of Thornton Township. She was appointed to the position in 2022 after longtime supervisor Frank Zuccarelli died. Henyard makes $200,000 to $24,000 a year in that role, but her appointment raised questions about whether she can effectively serve two political positions at the same time, or whether she was motivated to take that position because of the high salary. Months later, a new development emerged in Henyard's rocky political career. Federal investigators served two subpoenas to Thornton Township, expanding its probe against the besieged Henyard. One subpoena focuses entirely on Henyard and her two businesses. She owns a restaurant and a property management company. She also has a political fund and a charity bearing her name. The subpoena reportedly seeks all records, including personnel files, wage and tax statements, time and attendance records of work performed, contracts and checks written to cash. The second subpoena requests a kitchen sink of township records, including financial reports, budgets, payroll records, and ordinances covering credit card purchases, expense reimbursements, security details, and vehicle use. Until recently, Henyard enjoyed near unanimous support on the Thornton Township Board, but now trustee Carmen Carlisle says after trusting Henyard and remaining silent, she will be a whistleblower against. In a recent hearing, one trustee called out Henyard for who she believes she is. Today, I am breaking my silence and speaking out against Thornton Township Supervisor and Mayor of Dalton, Tiffany Henyard, who I believe has engaged in unethical and predatory behavior throughout her tenure. Trustee Carmen Carlisle wrote in an email statement to WGN, for the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors, and residents using her position to increase her influence all a while projecting a false image of success funded by the hardworking taxpayers of Thornton Township and the village of Dalton. At a recent board meeting, Carlisle acknowledged that she rarely raised questions about lavish trips and other spending charged to township taxpayers. I trusted the administration, she said on August 15th while looking at Supervisor Henyard. 
Carlisle and other township trustees then voted to put new restrictions on spending for special events and access to credit cards. Carlisle released a statement to WGN that reads in part, for the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors and residents using her position to increase her influence. All I am standing up not just for myself, but for others who have been affected by what I see as Henyard's abusive leadership, Carlisle's statement said. I believe there are many more victims who have been retaliated against, fired, or lied to by Henyard, but have yet to speak out. On her part, Henyard ridiculed Carlisle's newfound challenge at an August meeting. I think I'm going to get you a new nickname, Lying Carlisle, Henyard said in front of a packed audience. I'm tired of everyone in here. There always has to be a show. So will this be the end of the once vibrant young leader? Will she end up in jail? Or will she prove her innocence? Only time will tell. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.